Right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 3, Episode 8. These episodes, man, I don't even know. Like, they just hit you straight in the face out of nowhere. It's ridiculous. Like, this the this show went from, in the beginning, being such a nice kind of... Like someone said on my last video, um, the, uh, kind of the style of it was a comedy reverse harem um in a sense and now it's just like it's a bit it's a lot deeper than that <laughs> uh but yeah that, that thank thank you guys always for obviously uh for the comments on the videos i really appreciate it. and obviously giving your feedback and your thoughts on the episodes it's really fun to interact with people and stuff like that um last episode was insane like like the momiji episode that was like how could this be topped in terms of kind of drama and whatnot and then the last one was like, Phew. so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not crossing my fingers or anything like that because I know for a fact that this show could probably top this somehow. Um, I really hope Corona's okay. I really, really do. Where does it go from here? I have no idea. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into the episode right now. Please do. Please tell him what you need to tell him now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He asked it. 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 Please answer this properly, Toru. Please. Don't say it like that, Kyo. This is a different kind of love. Not how I was expecting this scene to ever go down. Kyo. Don't say that, man. Oh my god, whatever he thinks he did, man. Holy shit. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so I'm guessing the ears that he has, he pops up on his head. It does in fact not, aren't in fact real ears then, I guess. <laughs> They're just there for effect, otherwise she would have said something. Cute. <laughs> oh, look at her hair, it's so cute. Oh, her, her hair's like Toto's. <laughs> so cute. Oh yeah, it was it was Yuki that helped her. Oof, yeah. This is exactly how we saw him as well. Toru's mom is actually so pretty, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> Never probably realised this before. Oh god, she did as well. She got hit by a train. Fucking piece of shit, dad, man. Fuck you. It wasn't your fault by your mom, and you don't have to beat yourself up about Toru's mom. Fate really brought these guys together, though, man. Even in this, in the worst possible situation like this, it still, it still worked in their favor. She didn't say that, Kyo. No, that's not what she said. I really want to see how Toru's gonna react after all this. Oh God. This puts in, into perspective so much of what's happened in the show so far and what feelings were really felt. It's crazy. Toru has said about 10 words this entire episode, I swear. Oh, wow. She knew from, he knew from there. She didn't say that though. Cause she wouldn't. There's no way she would. Please, just... Oh, the music right now. It's so nice. Where is he going? Oh, shit. Don't you dare, Akito. No, Yuki, you went the wrong way. God damn it. Boy... Not boy. Girl, if you... If you... If you even do what you're about to do, I swear. That's not an okay cliffhanger at all. Like... But this show is full of entire not okay cliffhangers. Not okay cliffhanger. Oh my god. I, w I didn't know what was going to come out of Toru's mouth. I didn't think it was going to be anything negative towards Kyo. But there was I just couldn't fathom as to what she was going to say in the situation. And then she said what she was going to say. And I sh I should have known. Like, I still don't believe that her mom said what she said. 
because it just it seems so out of character. But like, for whatever reason, Teru's gone against that regardless and said, "I love you more than anything." And what more do I need to say for you to actually understand that and accept it? Oh man. I'm, I've been waiting for this. I really have been waiting for this for, this, the, the, for these two to properly speak and to properly open up to each other, even about something as dark and as gruesome as this. And like, it's, I just want it to work. I want it to work out so bad. And now we have goddamn Akito on the scene. Like, you go away. I'm not finished with you after last episode. We didn't even see Corona once this episode, so that just adds to my anxiety and the suspense of it. That's fun. Um, but yeah, Akito, Toru, better, better talk it out or something. I don't know, because Akito even attempts to raise that knife towards Toru. I will flip shit. I will actually flip shit. And like, Yuki and Kyo aren't there to help. It's just, It's just those two and like, God damn, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Something crazy is going to happen. And then in the next episode, there's going to be some another wild cliffhanger. And my heart rate is just going to be for the entire week. Thinking about it. Oh, but yeah, overall a really good episode. I'm I'm looking forward to the next episode, I guess. Yeah, is the, is the only way I could describe that. But yeah, uh, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.